Hi guys, welcome back Hello. to our channel. This is me, Rima. My name is Jaylee. Hi, I'm Xenia. And guys, today we're going to do something different. Um, I think we were just watching, uh, I mean, I like yesterday watched the uh, preview of Jawan, which is the upcoming yeah. Shah Rukh Khan film. And today, Jaylee and Xenia also saw the preview of Jawan. And it kind of made me start thinking about Shah Rukh Khan. How could it not? This man who is King Khan, who has been around forever, who's probably the biggest superstars in the oh. world forget indian cinema but now in the world his mm -hmm. reach is huge and um he recently made a decision guys which we were talking about at some point that he'll stop doing interviews so we will not be it's seeing so him sad doing... yeah i think it has some connection with his personal life and stuff that happened with his son but nonetheless mm. we have to respect his decision as an actor mm -hmm. he's hustled for years if this yeah. is his choice so be it uh yeah. but I thought, why not check out one of Shah Rukh Khan's most intimate interviews? Because there's a lot of interviews with him, promotional stuff, funny stuff. But I, as a person, a psychology student for life, love to know the man behind the stardom. And I yes. know... Yeah, this is one of the few interviews with Simi Garwal. This is Rendezvous with Simi, where I feel he opened up the most. And he'll talk mm. about his early childhood. And I think, uh, Jaylee, there are things you don't know that I think will be eye-opening. And uh, for Zini I'm and sure Jaylee, there'll be some yeah. that I don't know as well. Right. So I think it's going to be very cool to check it out. And Simi Garwal, God bless her. Why doesn't she do this show? She was so good at it. Um, yeah. I just... Um, I just miss her and hopefully uh, she'll, because she's still alive, but she, I hope she does it again. But um, she was really this, a great interviewer. This was 90s or maybe max early 2000s. She did these interviews and like in our household, everything stopped when Simi Garewal yeah. was on TV doing an interview oh, with one. That's awesome. Yeah. It would be an hour long and everyone would just be glued. Oh, yeah. She was very, like, she has, like, a British accent. You'll see. Like, she's mm. a very classy lady in white. She loves to wear her white. And this was almost right after Shah Rukh Khan's career took off. So very early mm. successful oh. Shah Rukh Khan. Gotcha. All right. So let's, let's check it out without further ado. One, two, three, play. Yeah. 1997. 1997. I went to meet the newborn at their flat in Bandra. Oh, they just had their first child. The home was simple. Oh. But it didn't oh, this matter. was their simple home. They were so happy. That's his and wife. So in love. Aww. Oh, she's gorgeous. Wow. She is. I invited them for a rendezvous. And though Arun was just three weeks old, Aww. they came on my show. See, and this Arun very early. Too. Yeah. And every so often, Gori would go and feed him. No fuss, no demands, untouched by fame and success. <laughs> They were like any normal young Aww. couple, building a life together. So, yeah. Khan and Gauri, in 1997, so the way they were. The way they were. Ooh. In recent years have made such a spectacular impact as my guest tonight. Endowed with equal in white, visions, the lady in white. Mm. Ethereal. Foolishly mercurial, abundantly talented. He is the intense, the intrepid, Turbocharged Shah Rukh Khan. Oh, she's got more words from the thesaurus than I do. Oh, I forgot about this song. Yeah, this song. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so yeah. shiny. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I love it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Jorik, I'm delighted to have you over. You don't know how long I've waited for an opportunity of talking to you. But her Thank interviews you so are really good. Thank you for calling me here. Tell me, has your success surprised you? Pleasantly, yes. It has surprised yes, you? Yes, it has uh, surprised me. But there are two things about uh, success. There's one is that one always thought when one is like, working hard that I would uh, be able to do good in what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. But uh, so good, I didn't know. So you feel you have achieved more than you set out? I 100% thought that, look, I had a certain amount of uh, talent or a certain amount of hard work and a certain amount of uh, good luck also. Hmm. And one would expect to get XYZ amount of success with that. But so much, I think, uh, has to be some kind of blessing. It couldn't have been uh, just me. So I used to be, like I told someone, that after success I've been humbled. 
because so much success I never thought I would get, and it has to be this is a young something Shahrukh. beyond this is like 24, 25, what God guys. has given me. It has to yeah. be a blessing, yeah. whether yeah. it's uh, my parents or whether just God has been too kind, or whether the people who see me on uh, screen they just decided to be very nice to me. Mm -hmm. But so what makes Shahrukh so special and so popular? My luscious lips. <laughs> <laughs> my luscious <laughs> lips. <laughs> yeah. Honestly. I try to sit down and uh, think what could make me work as, as a film actor. So I, I think I start from the top and I say, my hair, it doesn't stay in place. <laughs> but my it's eyes, terrific. Yeah, but it doesn't stay in place, so I think <laughs> I'm not too tall. Uh, my eyebrows are S-shaped. My eyes might be okay. The nose is too big. The lips are going out of proportion. The chin is not right. The voice is not good. The dialogues are not really happening. And what? Um, I suddenly started realizing that, oh damn, I'm in the wrong place. I've just been plain lucky. <laughs> I remember the first time that I ever saw you, long back. It was 1992. It was at the Film Fair Awards. I remember you had just won the Best Newcomer Award. Mm -hmm. I got a medal in school, which was in third class. Mm. I came running home to show it to my mother. I was very excited. <clears throat> it was very sad. She wasn't there. The first time I'm getting an award, a major award in the film industry, and she's still not here. So this yeah. one goes out to her. This one's for you, Mom. She hadn't seen your success. No, she didn't get to see it. And uh, sometimes I feel I joined films because once my mother expired, I wanted to come down to Bombay, away from Delhi. And uh, I said it then also, I, I feel the same, that I want my mother to see me. And uh, yeah. 70 mm is a lot bigger mm. than what I am on earth. So hopefully it'll be clearer from there. But it was a very moving experience for all of us. Oh. And I think there was a moment, a complete silence, if you remember. And suddenly... Yeah, he goes really deep, guys. Yeah. I don't think he's talked like this with anybody else. No, I, I think at, at that point I was just remembering my mother too much. Mm. Can you tell me what she was like? Can you show, give me a picture of her? Uh, Whatever I remember of her is that she was unlike me in, in terms of, uh, she, she was very social and mm. uh, she was not shy of people and she loved meeting people and she was always, wherever she went, she just brought in a lot of life. Mm. Okay. Just by being herself. I say that is different from me because a lot of people could see me at a film function and places where I could bring in life, but that's by being a star. You know, that, that's not just by being Shahrukh. She, mm. gave, she gave me, I mean, she gave us a lot of love and care because my father expired um, 10 years before that. And oh. um, not in the best of financial conditions he left us because he had a very expensive disease, so to say. He died of cancer. I'm sorry. So she had to look after all that and run the house. And she was a social worker. She was a magistrate. And um, she, she just made it on her own while she came from a house which really... Uh, should have made her a very spoiled person because she belonged to a very rich family and mm. a well-to-do family but she took it all on her and never wow. did i ever have to ask her for anything twice really? and she gave it to me without ever spoiling me how did you lose her oh wow it, it was very sudden she uh, yeah. i was uh, shooting in <coughs> goa and i just heard she, she had diabetes and um, i just heard that she's a little unwell and i spoke with her and she sounded okay when i came back from the work um, she had a little um, hurt on her foot, which sort of uh, kept on spreading. It was a small thing. It seemed very small. And then Aww. when she was admitted to the hospital, she contacted a disease called septicemia. So suddenly, uh, oh, this shit. happened in Jan sometime. I don't know, actually, as a matter of fact, in Feb. And by April, suddenly she died. I'm sorry. Wow. For so two, three months, she was unwell. And, um, it it was very sad. Because yeah. there was no yeah. preparation time either for you, mentally or emotionally, you know, when a person goes away so suddenly. Well, it was like, uh, oh. I, I wasn't prepared for it, but uh, I'd done the same thing for my father. I'd done the same thing, like I was um, in the hospital, the same thing happened to him, and slowly he just uh, went away. And uh, it was like exactly the same with her. So there was never any preparation for, uh, I was not prepared for her to die, but uh, one sort of started seeing it. And I remember I, I, nev I, I never used to pray. And um, she, she was in the ICU and mm. she was getting this breathing attack and I went down into the parking lot of uh, Batra Hospital. 
And wow. for the first time in my life, I think I prayed. And uh, somebody told me, if you say this 6,000 times, she will be, uh, she, she, she will uh, not have any pain. And I said it, and um, the doctor came and told me she's going to pass away. So I went down to the room, and uh, you see it only in films, but you have this... Uh, ECG. Yeah, you have the machine which uh, keeps your heartbeat and everything going in. And I, I have a belief that you only die when you're completely satisfied with life. You don't die before that. So I sat there and started giving her worries. <laughs> I told her I, I, I won't be happy. I told her it's my okay, sister won't yeah. be happy. Yeah. I told her I'll mistreat your daughter. And I said, I'll be a very bad person. Please, uh, I tried to give her worries. But she had this very, very beautiful look in her eyes, which uh, sort of said, let me go. I need to rest. And she just went. <sighs> wow. But I don't think parents ever die because they live through their children. Oh, yes. And I know she's always there. I, I, I never miss her in terms of her closeness to me. I miss her in the physicality. I just wish I could like hold her hand or mm -hmm. give her a hug sometimes, or she could give me a hug. But I, I can talk to her. And uh, the plus point is that uh, she's sitting there on God's head, telling him, don't make anything go wrong for Shara. Life, huh? Like losing your father. Shall we keep going? You don't have anything alone with your thoughts or dwell on the past. <gasps> Why? It's it's very strange. Like people say, uh, like I, I get very lonely with myself. I uh, and I'm not uh, romanticizing uh, loneliness. But I get I get very lonely at times. I with so many people. I have so much fame. I read somewhere. I have so much fame. I have so much money. I have so many people loving me. And why is mm. it? I feel alone. Yeah. You know, it's not, not, not at all uh, in any which way reflects upon uh, how much my wife cares for me or my sister loves me. Uh, so that's the, or the pain people of around me care for me. Yeah. But it's, it's something hard they to also that can't void. sort out. It's um, very isolating. Thoughts in the past uh, which come back to me are thoughts which make me sad. So I don't like to, I, I escape from them. But like what, what kind of thoughts are these? <laughs> I don't know. There's no one. Um, um, thought that I can pick up and say, okay, look, I think of my mother on the bed and she was dying or my father dying or uh, any sad, sad childhood memory because I've really not had a sad childhood. I've had a very happy childhood. Yeah. Um, but somehow it just seems, it's, it just seems that um, it's like, um, it's you, know, soul you say that mm -hmm. the most difficult thing about life is to get out of it alive. You know, and I, I just keep searching for this, um, this, this, this want for living. But do you think inside you, you feel cheated, perhaps, because your parents died? No, no, no not cheated. I, uh, I guess they were suffering too much. And if they went, uh, it was just by their choice. I think they just couldn't hold on anymore. And uh, because they loved me so much, I'm sure that if they could bear the pain, they would have. Yeah. Uh, he got so many parents. And, uh, I would, I, I would have cheated them if I had sort of forced them to stay. I would have uh, hurt them a little like more. For all that and pain, I think he got so right much success, but at what it cost? It must have been more painful for them yeah, to leave. Yeah. Me. Um, I don't feel cheated at all, but uh, yeah, I, I just miss them a lot sometimes. Yeah. And there are times when I uh, sort of want to cry, and I just want to do it alone, and I do it. I can't sleep. I, I, I need someone to be with me, so. When my wife leaves town and goes, then I pick up my dog and hold his paw and go to sleep. Mm. But I don't like being alone, yeah. Do you sleep well? I sleep very well, but I sleep very little. I, I don't like, mm. I think it's a waste of life to <laughs> sleep it away. I sleep like four or five hours. This work of all it. Yes, you just have to keep on. You can't waste these moments because it's just one lifetime and you have to pack in a lot of stuff. I'm going to take a pause here because it's a lot that we just processed and I kind of want to put a little bit of thought into it. And guys, we'll be breaking down this interview into part one, part two, because it is a very uh, powerful interview. And like I said, guys, I think yeah. you now agree that this is probably the closest intimate portrayal. And only Simi Garwal was able to make him come out and say these things. Because since yeah. then, if you see any Shah Rukh Khan interview, and I love watching interviews, guys, but you've never seen that level of depth that he exposes himself like he does on this show, his vulnerable side. Um, yeah. I found yeah. it very powerful when he talks about 
I don't like sleeping too much because then you're like sort of slipping your life away. It's a waste. And I wonder yeah. you think about how much he's lost, like obviously massive star, but he, he lost his parents. One parent died in his teens, 10 years later, the other parent, just as he's in the precipice of becoming a superstar dies, his mother, who he was yeah. close to. And it kind of like, I mean, I don't know. I thought it was so interesting for him to be like, I can't sleep because if I sleep, then I'm losing out on life, which my parents lost out on. Like, I wonder how that affects him. Um, yeah. What are your thoughts, guys, on that or anything else you heard so far? Oh, yeah, you're getting a lot of emotional, so I'll let you. <laughs> I just, I am, I just get emotional very easily. Yeah. Sorry, <laughs> but yeah, no, uh, no, absolutely, we were getting emotional too. So no, don't uh, apologize. Yeah, I, I knew that he had lost his mom, but I did yeah. not know that he had also lost his father 10 years before that. And that was news. Uh, and um, just it, you know, I guess like there's so too many thoughts are running in my head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, he's lost. He's lost his parents. I love how beautifully he puts it that like he doesn't feel cheated, but he fe- he mm. just misses them. He just misses their physicality and them being yeah. physically present. But I think he's gained so many parents in yeah. the big population that India is and world wow. over that loves Shah Rukh Khan. Mm. He's gained so much love and blessings. And and on the other hand, I think a person who has faced such loss is just constantly wanting to fill that void yeah. with being a workaholic, with being... Not being able a, to sleep. Yeah, in Not being able to sleep, just... Yeah. Yeah. needing to work and do so, which is great it's great for us but i i wonder how he he is like i feel bad for him yeah julie your thoughts um it's interesting that he talked about like despite everybody who loves him and all the support he's gotten how mm-hmm. it's still like incredibly lonely yeah um and isolating and i think you know he just misses his parents like even if you have a a partner, you know, there's, yeah. it's just, you can't replace like the love of your parents and it yeah. makes me feel really bad for him. But I, I love that instead of turning that sadness into mm-hmm. something negative, he like, he uses it as a positive force. I think the, the part that impacted me the most was like how he wanted his mom to see him and it's yeah. much easier for her to see yeah. him if he's on a movie screen. <laughs> yeah. And That's I was a like, way to oh. put it. Yeah. He yeah. wants to make them proud, even though they've passed on. Yeah. yeah. Bigger picture, easier for her to see. That was so yeah. sweet. And I think, I think in some way, what I love about this interview, because I'm sure there are so many, and especially when you see people who are put on a pedestal, like Shah Rukh Khan yeah. is, like loved mm-hmm. and, you know, worshipped. And uh, I mean, we see that a lot with some of the other Southern Indian stars that we've also looked at. But I think here what amazes me is Shah Rukh Khan came from literally nothing in Mm. the film industry. Like before him, I mean, his son and his daughter now have the privilege, but Mm -hmm. uh, he started, there was nobody in the industry that knew him. So he surely came on merit and his charm and his luck really. And theater skills. (laughs) So I think he just had that skill set and a lot of luck because of course the film industry, there are so many talented people and still struggling. Some of them like Nawazuddin Siddiq take like 12, 15 years cast in smaller roles and you haven't seen him really, but he's a talented Indian actor and then make a break uh, to become a lead. Uh, So Shah Rukh Khan had it relatively easier, but I find it fascinating to see like the people we admire and adore like the human side of them. And I think yeah. this is of him where um, how much he's lost in life as well. Mm. Like he's gained so much, but I think uh, for those who envy him, you know, I don't think you would want an existence like him. The fact that he's lost his parents at such mm-hmm. a young age. And like he says, all the fame in the world, right. It's almost yeah. like a, it's like this, uh, this is a sad story, but all the fame in the world, but you still have a void in your heart. And I think yeah. that probably, which is great that he's fueling it to kind of become bigger, to continue doing projects, to to continue living his life to the fullest. Yeah, um, and I'm totally. sure it's, it's kind of made him the actor, the, the talent. Who knows if he hadn't, um, I don't know, like, I don't know how, how, how adversity and, and, and sadness shapes you, but yeah. I... I do think a lot of who he is today 
uh, the star even now in his 50s doing Jawan, trying on different mm-hmm. shades yeah. of the character that we saw going for this look, bald look, which is uh, pretty unheard of. Like most actors don't want to lose their hair. And I was so excited when I saw that, guys, um, because I think when I reacted to it, you know, uh, Shah Rukh Khan's origins was as a negative character. Like he started out oh, being yeah. the anti-hero. Oh. Um, and I don't think we've seen the films yet, but he did Dar, which is like Dar. fear. And yeah. he was a bit of a stalker guy. He did another one, Anjam, where he was a bigger psycho stalker. <laughs> he did oh. a lot of these very evil characters or great characters. Yeah. Bazigar, where he was, again, a very uh, like yeah. uh, guy out for vengeance. So the fact that he's returning to that, um, and I do feel like sometimes maybe if you have a lot of pain, you know, it kind of... Mm. Uh, people say they draw from their experiences. I don't know, Jay Lee, Zinia, you guys can speak to it. But I mean, this man, I I think he has lived a life far beyond his years, right? But just the uh, mm-hmm. ups and downs that he has gone through. But I don't know. I, I, I thought it was so fascinating to see him behind the scenes. Like, yeah. I can't sleep at night. I need to have my yeah. wife or I need, I can't be alone. He and holds a lot his of dog's what, paw. Yeah. Yeah, what shapes you, right? Like, I think what shapes yeah. you, like, I think I feel relatively secure at night. I can sleep and all of yeah. those things because you don't go through those adversities and you wouldn't wish it on your worst enemy. But how he, you know, triumphed from from mm-hmm. that, um, I almost feel like he's right. Maybe his mom is blessing him from up above yeah. because and everyone knows so yeah, much. Oh, yeah karmically maybe you need a balance you need something to be like here yeah. take all the stardom in the world but yeah you know what the funny thing is if he had to choose he probably wouldn't choose it right he'd probably be like give me he'd my choose his parents of course yeah. oh absolutely yeah wow it's i don't know it's very powerful <sighs> like i think that was an eye-opening experience this interview guys i watched it before mm-hmm. i'm watching it for the first time with uh of course uh you know uh Zinia and Jilly are seeing it for the first time but to mm. me it was eye-opening because I I have a lot more compassion for Shah Rukh Khan mm. with this interview what what were your thoughts guys I I, I know I spoke a little bit much <laughs> no we I yeah. resonate with all your thoughts as well same it was just very intimate like I think everybody goes through trials and tribulations and it's mm-hmm. like it's a part of life overcoming that and he just yeah. he yeah. channeled it positively and made yeah. an amazing career out of it so good for yeah. him yeah good for him and, and in his 20s right like i think you know i mean yeah. honestly he's he's going through a lot but it, this can really mess up somebody and yeah, the fact of that he's like functioning he's you know yeah. and, and High good, functioning. Thing has, good thing he has his family i can tell now why he stopped doing interviews like if i were to analyze this not that i'm qualified mm-hmm. to but just my own opinion as a fan as an admirer um that's why his family means the world to him. You see what yeah. I mean? You lose a family, you recreate a family from scratch, your wife, yeah. your kids, and then something You're happens gonna be to his son. Yeah, now you become like mama bear, papa bear. You're yep. like, you come yeah. after my child, done. And that's why he stopped doing interviews. He's like, this is my protest for what you did to my son, maybe. And mm-hmm. justifiably well, so. Happened? This man has... Um, I think his son got caught up with some allegations of drug abuse or oh. things, and drugs are illegal in in uh, India, including marijuana, which is illegal I think it was a marijuana thing. Yeah, it was a okay. marijuana thing, and, and the tabloids it, went ham on wow. just criticizing him, his parenting, his son. Crazy upbringing. society difference, because like I know we have a lot of fans in India. I don't know how they if they know like how it is yeah. in America, but we're pretty much completely legalized, except for a few states. Well, yeah. I mean, Jilly, you would be but, surprised but, yeah. to know that, like, a lot of places historically, are still... historically in India, it's it's literally being been linked with religion, and it's it's be. Yeah. I don't want to go into anything oh, controversial, but like, yeah. So it's really it's it's a new modern day thing that that is illegal in India. And wow, really? Okay. I mean, but, uh, know, I, I, I knowing can, that, I don't blame him. Yeah. 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 <laughs> No, I mean, Regan's I, I, presidency uh, pushed right. for that in India uh, to yeah. yeah to have it a uh, type A drug. Wow. So that's the thing. Like federally, even in the United States, it's still illegal. So if you guys are coming across the border from Canada, if you say that you've consumed, and if you're applying as an immigrant, for instance, if you've ever consumed any. Uh, drug related part even though statewide like Jaylee said Mm -hmm. some states New York it's legal several states it's legal but federally it's still illegal in the United States yeah I worked at a topic yeah yeah 
Yeah. I worked at a casino right. in California, and it's completely legal in California recreationally and medicinally. But since that casino was on uh, Native American mm-hmm. reservation land, which is technically federal land, mm-hmm. it was illegal there. Yeah. So yeah. there's, it's yeah. a lot. Yeah. It's tricky. It's, it's a, a tricky yeah, topic. It's complicated. Ooh. It's a tricky topic, but nonetheless, the point is that, of course, whatever it is his son was accused of, the media had a field day. And I think now that we mm. see this perspective, this side of him, we can see why this it hit him harder than it would hit anybody else, right? Because a lot of kids, kids of stars get paparazzi, get stalked, but mm-hmm. he was targeted and what his son went through, uh, I can imagine that this is his life, yeah. right? He's lost his yeah. parents. This is all he has. Um, so yeah, we get it. And of course, we're sadder that he won't be giving more interviews like this. But yeah. guys, we will continue on with this beautiful interview of Shah Rukh Khan. This is only part one. We'll do part two and part three when we meet tomorrow. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. This is different content we're trying out, guys. So please do support this so that we can do more um, other type of content, not just songs and uh, trailers, which we will still continue. And of course, subscribe if you are new to the channel. If you're seeing Jaylee, my Xenia's faces for the first time become an AR Gold Plus member if you'd like to on Patreon uh, social media links down below and we will see you next time bye thanks bye. guys